So a H flipping, there's a lot to learn. Once you know the fundamentals on how to flip, it becomes easy. Today we're going to be going over a full guide on how to AH flip in Hypixel Skyblock. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've brought down AH flipping into five different categories and we're just going to start with the first one. So when I use the term bin in this video, that means buy it now. I know most people will know this, but in case somebody doesn't know this, that's what it is. So lowest bin to bin flipping is probably the most simple and most common form of flipping. There are a lot of different items that you can do this with. But one of the items I like to do with a lot is Legion books. Now Legion books are great because of the supply coming on the market. There's so much supply, that means that there's so many uh, you know opportunities for the actual flips. So before we even get into anything else, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got this filter to buy it now only, and you have this to low it pri lowest price, and this on consumables, for the books that is. What you want to do is you want to study the market for probably a good 5 minutes, um, before you actually start doing the method because obviously the market's changed from day to day I'll tell you at the moment these prices are quite high just because I know the market for these books quite well So what I would do at this point if I was about to flip I would say what's the market value of these books that right? There's a snipe 1.1 million. I'd probably say the market value is probably around 1.95 To 1.2 million coins now that's very important because once you know this you can basically calculate how much profit you want to make and basically at what price and below you want to buy to actually profit. Obviously you've got to take into consideration tax as well and the listing costs. So for instance if you bought this book here for 1.1 million and you really it for 1.2 million that's perfectly fine. On face value you make 100k profit but you don't really make a 88k profit because it's a 12k listing fee but still it's 88k profit and it's good profit. This goes for every other item. Always study the market before you actually go ahead and buy something because what you don't want to do is buy something too high, the price drops back down to market value. Because there will be fluctuations in price all the time. Now something slightly different like Shadow Assassin Armor, I have made various videos on this in the past. I'll link them in the description if anyone's interested in more of an in-depth sort of guide into a specific sort of AH flipping. But basically all you want to do with Shadow Assassin is obviously type Shadow Assassin, buy it now lowest price. But because obviously there's two rarities of Shadow Assassin, Epic and Legendary, then Mythic as well, you want to actually filter it to its individual rarity. Now this is especially uh, helpful when you're flipping Legendary pieces because a lot of people don't realise the difference in price between the Legendary and the Epic. Therefore, when you're seeing the market value of these Legendary Shadow Assassin boots here for probably around 1.8 million coins to 1.7, you see a lot getting listed for around 1.1 and 1 million coins because that's the market value of the epic. And obviously that's where your snipe is and that's where your flip is. It's quite simple. I'm not going to talk about this anymore because this is the most simplest bog standard form of AH flipping that you're going to come across. And a lot of people probably do it without even realising. Now the next form of AH flipping is another, is another bin to bin. Uh, but it's slightly different because you're not just going off the lowest price. So this is just an example here, Necron chest plates. So basically what you want to be doing here is most of the time you'll be filling some mythic. Now this, to be honest, this method is more for people with more coins, um, but it's still relevant. If you look at the bog standard price of a recombobulated Necron chest plate, you're looking at around 39 million coins. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing really too special about this chest plate. It has hot potato books, but it's not starred. It doesn't have any special enchantments, so that's fine. As opposed to this one here with Wisdom, 5 starred, hot potatoed again, at 45 mil, 46 mil. Now obviously there's a difference in price, but you can capitalise on this. Now this doesn't just work with this item, there's lots of other items you can use, but what, like I said, this is just sort of an example. I'm not going into specific with any one item. In terms of Necron, you want to be looking for the stars, you want to be looking for Legion, Wisdom enchantments, because if you were to find, say for instance like a like a legion, I don't know, like a legion 5 for the market value here at 39 million coins. People who don't have a fine tuned eye to legion or to necron um, won't realise that this is a snipe. In fact, a legion 5 necron chest plate probably goes to somewhere around 55 million coins as opposed to 39. Um, so you can see where you can make your profit. Now another way that I like to do this method is if you go to livid daggers or flower of truths, a lot of people don't realise that um, one for all livid daggers sell for a lot more. So if you just basically filter through and if you see any livid daggers that are one for all sort of listed under market value, snap, uh, snap them up straight away because people will buy them. Uh, there's no debate about it. And at the moment, um, the market value for these are around 16 million, 17 million coins, which is about normal. So this wouldn't be a snipe. This is probably a market value item. But once again, once you've established that your market value is 16.2 million coins, realistically, if you got an identical version of this sword, you could probably sell it for 16 million. So that's important to know. Therefore, you can then calculate your tax, your listing fee, 
and the fact that you probably want to be buying it for 15 million coins or less. Now, you'll be surprised at the amount of people that do list this, um, this item with one for all. A lot cheaper than it should be because people just don't realize and while I'm on the topic of livid daggers I should probably mention that obviously recombobulated livid daggers go for a lot more than normal legendary uh, livid daggers so as you can see at the moment the market value is about 12.8 million for the recombed and as for the regular legendary we'll call it around 7 million coins for the sake of ease so this is quite a harder mistake to make but people still do list Recombed livid daggers for 7 million coins and if you can snipe one of them then you're laughing in terms of profit and that really does cover regular bin to bin auction flipping I've, I've covered two topics there in terms of auction flipping both bin to bin and the first one was a lot more simple than the second one and the first one is probably what most people are going to be using if they have less coins but nevertheless it's good to know both methods so the next method is going to be auction to bin flipping so it is quite self-explanatory and I assume most people already know what I mean when I've said sort of the title of it. But if you don't know what it is, basically you're going to be bidding on um, on auctions and basically then selling it on bin. It's pretty much as simple as that. And the way that you do this is you will search auctions rather than bin and go to end and soon rather than lowest bid. Now I may not have chosen the best item in the world um, to try this out with but as you can see here this Libby Dog is going for 6.5 mil. We know the uh, market price is around 6.8 to 7 mil, uh, so if you were to hypothetically win it for 6.5 mil, then you'd be quids in. Obviously, it goes without saying, you still need to know the market value of the product, or not the product, the item, should I say, um, because obviously that's what you're going to base your bid off. So it is a very simple method as long as you know the market value. Like right here, these boots, 3.6 million, superior boots, 5 star hop sale. I mean, if you could win them for the 3.6 million coins, then that would be profit. Um, to be honest with you, you're probably going to be losing quite a lot of these auctions just purely because a lot of people do check these bids. But in that case, my advice would be basically bid at obscure times, times when not a lot of people are on. Obviously, if there's more people on the server, there's going to be more people walking through the bids. Um, therefore, you've got less chance of actually winning the auction. And a good item or good items that you can actually do this method with is a lot of the time pets. Pets usually get overlooked and pet skins. Now you've got to be careful with pet skins. You can pick a good deal up with, on a pet skin, but you've got to be careful. You've got to know what you're buying and you have to know the market of what you're buying inside out. Some of the rarer pet skins obviously are priced very high and obviously that's because they're never going to be able to be obtained ever again. But that allows people to be able to basically fix the market and increase the price to false prices now i am going to touch on this further in the video so i'm not going to go with too in depth but what i would say is unless you're a very experienced flipper then probably don't go near a pet skin unless you're really sure or there's a massive profit margin that is pretty much it for ah to bin flipping it's quite simple it's quite self-explanatory if you know what you're doing with bin to bin flipping then ah to bin flipping is what so should i say auction to bin flipping is pretty much the same only you're bidding it's, there's not really much difference now it's time to talk about price fixing what i almost touched on before so i'll use this example of the pink elephant pet skin now i actually won one of these uh, skins for 62 million coins a while ago now probably almost a month ago and i think i ended up selling it for around 80 million coins so i made a big profit off it um but as you can see People basically like to inflate the price of these skins and not only that people just don't buy them Nevertheless what people will do is basically say for instance if there's a few pets uh, skins listed for like I don't know for this maybe like 69 million and 65 million They'll buy these two out and then they'll list those for I don't know like 90 million And that basically inflates the price even though the market value is actually around 70 million now if you don't understand this it's fine, but I'll try and make it simpler. Basically, people buy the cheap skins to make the price go up, so there's no cheap skins left. Now, people are able to make hundreds of millions of coins doing this, depending on the skin that they actually do use. Um, but it's a massive risk to take. You have to know the market literally as good as can be. And that's because you don't. You want to know sort of how many people have got the skins. Like, if it's a very, very niche skin and literally hardly any people have the skin, um, then you could literally make 50 million coins per flip or even more just pro just purely because people get impatient Selling things like this like hit this on face value. That was like a 10 million coin flip But I guarantee if you buy this this will not sell for that price for a long 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 time And even if it does it might not even sell for that price. It might just expire and never sell you've got to think that 
basically there's got to be some sort of demand for the skin like there's very little demand for this at this price let's be honest but for skins with more demand people fr uh, price fix the mark price fix the market all the time and make millions of coins and people fall into the trap of them buying the skin at a higher price and the market value is lower it, it is a bit of a mess and it's not the easiest thing to actually explain and that's pretty much going to be that for price fixing i'm no by no means an expert on that topic so just take what i said with a pinch of salt um but it just gives you a general idea. So the last method of AH flipping is basically event specific investments. Now I'll use an example for this that I am quite familiar with. Now if we come over to our calendar and events and we look at the spooky festival, as you can see this is 3 days and 13 hours away so there's pretty much just been a spooky festival. Now obviously the drops that you can get in the spooky festival are pretty much specific to that festival and can't be obtained other than that single hour. So if we come to the auction house, so this is just, a, you just buy it now, there's nothing to do with auctions in this. And you look at something called a spooky cupcake. This is basically just a pet item that drops within the spooky festival. And at the moment, the price is around 100k. Now this price will go up as we go further on in the week, closer to the next spooky festival. At the moment, nobody can obtain these and that's why the price is on its way up. It's actually quite low at the moment. So basically what you would do, and I've done this in the past numerous times, is right now I'd buy one, two, three, I don't know, I'd buy as many as I can that aren't overpriced. So I'd probably buy all of them for 100k there. And then I'd just wait until about 12 hours before the next spooky festival and just sell them on. And you'd probably double your coins on each one of these. Now, this doesn't only work with the spooky festival, it works with all the other festivals. So any other item that you could think of that is specific to one festival that you can't get any other time, then you can do it with as well. Essentially just look on the calendars and um, you'll see when the next event actually is. It works especially well with the traveling zoo and the pets that you can actually get from that, like the elephant and the tiger and the lion. Um, you'll see that the price fluctuates and dips and basically goes lower when the traveling zoo's in and goes higher towards when the traveling zoo's in again. And then once the traveling zoo comes again, it'll drop back down and then it'll just keep going in patterns like that. What I would say though is it's probably best doing it with something like an item, like a spooky cupcake just purely because um, there's less I mean there's less supply for these and there's still demand. Now by no means am I an expert at AH flipping, I just have a bit of knowledge. So what I would say is that not everything that I've said in this video is going to be 100% accurate but it's going to give you a good idea if you are unsure on how to AH flip. I do make majority of my coins through AH flipping usually bin to bin with Shadow Assassin or Legion books. Um, I rarely use the other methods just because I think for my point in the game what I do is the most efficient. It's probably not. There's probably other things I need to try. Um, but yeah, like I said, just take what I say with a pinch of salt. And don't take it for 100% definite. Because I can't guarantee that exactly what I'm saying is 100% true. But as long as you double check the market value of something before you go ahead and buy the snipe. You should be 100% fine. Other than if it's with pet skins. And I just stay away from pet skins unless you're 100% sure. Anyway, that is going to be all for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. And before I actually end the video, if you're not already joined my Discord and you are interested in joining my Discord, it's always linked in the description, so feel free to join. See you.